Now here are five things you need to know today. The Bay County Growth Alliance accusing Bay City State Theater of misrepresenting the Alliance's role in the theater's closure. The theater filed for bankruptcy over an $800,000 loan through the Growth Alliance. In January of this year, the recently appointed theater board chair said the loan was fraudulent and claimed the board was unaware of any loan. The theater's chief operations officer, Mike Bacicalupo, signed the loan. He was later removed from that position and several other positions in the city. Flint City Council members trying again today to pass a budget. Members tried Monday and failed, violating the city charter, which does mandate a budget must be passed by the first Monday in June. The city council has until June 30th now to get it done, otherwise they face a city government shutdown. Members will meet during a special meeting today at 445. New charges for one of the men affiliated with the Living Word Church, Mark Barclay Ministries in, Mid, in Midland. 71-year-old Randy Saylor appearing in Midland County Court yesterday for two sexual conduct charges. During the hearing, the judge charged Saylor on three new sex crime charges, all of them second degree. He posted bond and pled not guilty and is due back in court June 11th. Several mid-Michigan beaches are closed right now due to high levels of bacteria. Whites Beach, Aranat County Beach, Hamill Beach Road Access, Twinning Road, and Singing Bridge Beach have all been closed since late last week. In Bay County, the Bay City State Recreation Area is also closed. Saginaw County Animal Care and Control is hosting its Pay the Date Adoption Fees event today. Throughout the month, you can pay the fee that matches the date, so today you will pay $5. In Genesee County, the animal shelter has waived adoption fees for dogs and for cats.